Hey everyone! So to carry on with our tutorial on stamping techniques, today we're going to learn about emboss resist. The other, I, the other day I did a video and it's posted on my YouTube channel as well on how to emboss. So if you haven't watched that yet, I do recommend you go there first because I'm going to skip some of the steps in the basic embossing um, to show you today's technique. So I've already gone ahead and I have stamped my image with Versamark onto a piece of cardstock and this time I've used clear embossing powder. So that's my preferred powder when I do a resist technique. It's not the only one you have to use, but it is the one I like. I've already heat set it, so I've got my nice image there and you can see it's very subtle at this point. It's not kind of in your face. So to do a resist technique, you will need a sponge and a stamp pad of choice. In this case, I'm gonna use Thistle. And you can do a few different things. I like to um, rub or pat. So you can see I'm going to, and I'm actually gonna do a few different colors just to really give some fun. So let me grab a few more stamp spongers. And I'm gonna grab a nice green color of ink. This one is Sweet Leaf. I'm gonna add it along down my image. And you can rub, I've been dabbing. It's really up to the desired look that you'd like. I'm mixing them up a bit and then I'm going to take a nice juniper, which is a mix of blue and green. And I'm going to ink that around my whole image. This one I'm going to try to kind of smear more. But I'm also going to try to fill in the color. So you can play around with this a whole bunch. And then when you're done, you just want to take a clean sponge and you want to make sure you wipe off any excess ink from your surface. So you can see you can mix it up and I, I would add more color to this if I was going to put it onto a card or a scrapbook layout. So once you've got all the ink off, you have a finished product and you can add that to anything you like. You can do these in solid colors, in partial colors. Um, you can really play with this technique and get some really fun effects. Uh, my favorite is doing like the moon and the stars in the sky and having a really nice dark night sky. That's a really beautiful effect. Use golds for your embossing powders and you can get some pretty great things. I hope you enjoyed this. Stay tuned for more videos this month as we celebrate July and Stampaganza. Thanks everyone.